before October was nearly over. I only had two days to turn this into this. Let's get to building. Groovy. I started out with a bunch of wheels and tires I had. Definitely some are from Mega Blocks, the other ones totally sure, maybe Playmobil or some other broken toys. I made some hubcaps using uh, contact lens case covers, and then I made these large axles with the inside of a soap dispenser. Always make sure that your super glue actually bonds. I put the rear axle together using some Connects building toys, and then I made these shock absorber looking things using a plastic tube from inside of a soap dispenser. There's the sort of framework assembled. I made a, I want to say, drive shaft with the inside of a soap dispenser. This is mostly to add structural strength. I used a paper clip and then some popsicle sticks to really strongly affix that to the body. I'm adding some detail to the undercarriage here using more Mega Bloks pieces. These are the angled pieces. I used some foam core to just cover up some of the obvious Mega Bloks details. I've got these tank and cars toys that had some interesting pieces. So I took them apart. Uh, you can see the top panel of the tank has some really interesting stuff. I was just kind of testing out to see where it might go. Everything was built in a very freeform fashion, so. I wasn't sure what was going to be what until I kind of tested it in place and started building it. The front of this car's vehicle I thought would be really good to make the sort of tall sloped front that's typical on an orc vehicle. The hood of this Megablox Jeep made a good roof for the front cab. I used some bits of an actual model kit to make some front fenders. This is some kind of metal bracket, but it looked like it was kind of the window on the side of a truck. I think this was a Hummer of some sort. Probably Mega Blocks, but had a good door, so that got used on the other side. I used some of these Mega Blocks pieces to build up the angled sections of the body. In case it's not obvious, the three spiked big smashing grate at the front is also Mega Blocks.
I like using Mega Blocks in the builds just because they have uh, really good right angles and uh, they're easy to glue together and also you can weather them really nicely. I also have this tactic I used in the Orc Gargant build where I fill in a Mega Blocks piece with glue and then cover it with paper and grind down the sides and then it looks like a big thick metal panel. This one ends up going kind of on the inside and you don't even see it in the final product, but anyway, that process is the same. I do use it at another place on this build. I also had a lot of popsicle sticks left over from building that D&D shipwreck, so um, I used those where I could. Building up the fender and, and then also for support in the body and other areas, as you'll see. Uh, now I'm cutting down the top of this tank toy. The plastic was really weird. It's very old or I don't know. It kind of felt like cutting through a raw lasagna noodle. It sort of crumbled at some points. I had this gun turret that I built for the Gargant build actually, but I never ended up using it. So it's basically just a cardboard tube. I used the top of a lotion or soap dispenser, which has a little slot, which kind of looks like a viewport. And the gun is from the inside of a soap dispenser or some similar packaging. Starting to figure out where some of these tank panels will go. I used some popsicle sticks to fill in the gap and then started to place them on. Now I'm taking the bottom of the contact lens case and using it to make this little bottom mount for the gun. This piece I added here, big mistake. Normally in a freeform kind of build like this, I would say you can't really make a mistake, um, but that's wrong. I spent a bit of time testing various bits, just kind of seeing what might go where. I had this floor from an actual van model kit so I used that to make the the bed of the sort of pickup truck bit where all the boys go. And I added this interesting blue bumper, which I think came from a Simpsons toy. Definitely a sufficiently orky or orcish looking piece, very chunky. After a bit more time testing where to add in some of these tank panels, I finally decided how I was going to finish off the right side of the vehicle. There's that piece being torn off. Goodbye, good riddance. The new panel, which has slight symmetry to, to the far side, uh, but not really, because I don't think orcs really care about symmetry. Adding in these structural popsicle sticks, covering up some ugliness, of course, a lot of this is ugly, but covering up some ugliness with uh, popsicle sticks down between the wheels. After testing out a few configurations for how to build the roof, I settled on some asymmetrical tank fragments that I had left from the various clippings I made. Making another one of my Mega Blocks panels, this would end up going uh, above the doors on the back of the vehicle. Now I'm going to make those doors. I forget where these pieces came from, but I think they're from an actual car kit. I had this giant staple from an Amazon package. Just a good way to make the frame for the door. Sometimes you got to do some pruning mid-build. I used Mega Blocks to build up more angle pieces, more mid gluing pruning, and then the lid of a pepper flake shaker to make the base of the turret. 
here's the completed body and I'll just use a whole bunch of spackle to fill in all of the gaps so everything looks like more continuous armor panels there it is looking very ugly now I just need to sand everything and file everything and dremel everything flush it's kind of fun I also took this opportunity to grind in some battle damage and weathering Now to build the actual bed on this pickup truck section. I'm sure that's not what they call it, but it's the troop transport bin at the back. These interesting looking mega box pieces. And then I just use some twist ties to put in the metal, I don't know, strapping, metal bracing, whatever it would be, just to make it look more like a panel of metal. This is a panel that I think is from the same kit that the doors are from, and that made a good outer edge. Then I used some of this granny grating, as they call it, to fill in the floor. Using some heavy cardstock, I made some, I guess they're just called teeth detailing. The Oracle loved to have teeth detailing, so cut those out and added that to the side of the troop transport bin. So this is the turret from the tank kit. This is one of those cases where I'm actually using a thing as the thing it originally was but I wanted to accommodate this large gun that I had in my bits box so I cut out a sizable portion at the front using some popsicle sticks and a bunch of mega blocks I built up the space I had this curved plastic piece that set pretty nicely into the turret base, so I added that into the bottom of the turret to help position it, and well, I don't think I'll leave it free to rotate, but it does actually sort of pivot on that spot. I wanted the turret to look quite a bit taller, so I added a ring of various mega blocks around the outside to build up a sort of chunky armor pattern. That also got ground down with the Dremel to add in that battle damage. Then I filled in all the gaps with some spackle. And then that got filed down smooth. Then I threw a quick primer onto it and here it is. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this build. If you're interested in other build videos, please check out the rest of my channel. I'll be putting on the finishing touches and painting this battle wagon in a future video. If you enjoyed this video, please consider liking and subscribing to this channel.